Canada sticks with immigration target despite housing crunch. Oh, well, here. It's, it's going to have to find someone to sell these ho overpriced homes to. Overinflated homes to. Canada was in a housing crunch back in 2010 when people's average annual wage was eight, 8 to 12 times their annual uh, eight, a house was 8 to 12 times their annual income back in 2010. What did Canada do? They formed the Vancouver model. What did the Vancouver model do? It allowed foreign investors, predominantly from China, to bring their money into Canada and basically park it in Canadian territory, leaving a pile of homes vacant and having this empty home crisis. And Canada was in a housing crunch back in 2010. Today is 2023. We are in a housing Apocalypse now. We've been covering wow. housing, interest rates, the cost of living, the cost of uh, maintaining a property, the cost of property taxes. They're going to tax you to death. They're going to tax you to death. They're going to tax you to death. Nonstop. Now we are here, folks. It's 2023 and housing still hasn't made a correction. They gave us artificially low interest rates to basically allow first-time home buyers to get on into the market. And that was drastic. Our interest-only mortgages in Australia and no down payments in the UK, uh, like zero down. So people now, as interest rates start to hedge against inflation, interest rates are not even close to the target they need to be at. And this is something that's been – they've been playing with us all these years. Right, they pushed us into a financial corner. They make us t they make us take some juice, and then uh, they made they made some take some juice or a lot take some juice to continue making those payments and continue their lifestyles. Canada is in a housing apocalypse. There's no housing crunch in Canada now. They're claiming that Canada's population is 45 million or 40 million. No, uh, it's so expensive to live here. We're being taxed to death. The and and and. Uh, taxation with re without representation is a big deal. And this is it, folks. Housing apocalypse. Yeah, ooh, the doom and gloom guy is back. Ooh, ooh, what's happening now? Well, it's happening now in your face. All these years reporting on this. All these years warning people. Some people took the advice. I got a some message from someone today. He said, thanks, Mike. I got a divorce because of you, but now I'm not in debt and drowning in debt also because of you. So this is where we're at right now. People have been taken advantage of. The Canadian proper is finished. The European expansion in North America is done. And there's no one to maintain this infrastructure anymore. And it's going to get worse. And we're seeing it get worse. And I'm first-handedly seeing things fall apart and get worse as we progress. We're just getting warmed up, folks. It's 2023, and it's summer, and it's baking hot outside. We're just getting warmed up. Housing, more housing woes ahead as they need to hedge against inflation so we could afford to buy food. Oh, Mike, why is this not fair? Why are raising rates not going to be? Yeah, it's good. Because if you have housing tied to real estate prices, if you have wages tied to real estate prices, that's what I meant to say, you wouldn't be in this debacle today. And instead of keeping the rule of thumb four or five times your annual income, there's your house price. But no, but when you're taking public servants that make six-figure incomes that have no idea what they're doing for the government, that doesn't count as in income because it's coming from the private sector that's funding them. And now the taxation to death is rolling through and the federalization of everything's coming through. And they're going to push for a couple of hot wars purposely to start basically punishing us for the mistakes they've made and the deregulation of the banking system, the deregulation of our mainstream media, the deregulation of our schooling system, our deregulation of our healthcare system. They've deregulated the world, and they're deregulating more, and they're punishing us for building it. They're punishing us for building the roads, and they're punishing us for creating this infrastructure. And now, you know, bad, bad, bad. And housing apocalypse is here, folks. And I wish everybody good luck. And for the people that do email me from time to time to send me a thankful message, um, I appreciate you taking the time to do that. It means a lot to me. And that's prompted me to make this video. Canada sticks with immigration target despite housing crunch. It's very interesting. Bring in more. Hopefully they'll buy up the overpriced property and continue to, to disenfranchise middle-class Canadians. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Mike Martin's here. I'll see you tonight on Mike in the Night. I have spoken.